Hello, hello, Brittany Brown here, and welcome to day two of your Revolutionize Your Relationship with Food series. I am so excited to support you with, drum roll, doo -doo 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 -doo, that didn't sound like a drum at all, with your breakup, your breakup. Now, I know breakups aren't always fun, but this one's going to be. This was one of those ones that like feels a little tough to do, but then once you do it, you feel so relieved and you're like, why didn't I do that so long ago? I needed to let go of this so I could live my life and be happy. Yeah, we're going to do one of those today. So rest of the series, we're going to be talking about what to do to create the amazing, fulfilling, supportive, happy relationship with yourself, your body, and food. But today, we got to say bye to what's not working so we can make room for what is. So a little snippet of a personal story to kind of tie this all together. So yesterday, I talked about how my on-track, off-track relationship, like healthy eating or dieting or fasting or whatever, you know, would flip over to binge eating or um, overeating or cheat days or I'm just going to eat all this now. I already messed up my diet and then I'll start over tomorrow. I went back and forth between those, back and forth between weights, ended up in the hospital, not good. So this struggle lasted for a good 12 plus years, but the first seven or so, the first seven or so I was trapped in this thing that I want to talk to you about today because odds are if you're watching this, you're probably here too. And if you're not, I'm going to give you a different thing you could be trapped in, right? So stick with me through this. I promise you one of the areas is going to really, really relate to you and we're going to show you how to let go of it. All right. So seven plus years, I thought that dieting, finding the perfect eating plan and perfect workout and kind of like working on these external things, diet and fitness, was the answer to my weight problems and the answer to my binge eating and the answer to all of it. Now, I really didn't even think it was the answer to my binge eating. I actually just thought that I would probably always struggle with overeating forever. I'd always have cravings. I'd always struggle with food. And I just thought that I'd always have to control it. So I felt like willpower, white knuckling control tactics were the only thing I could do to get through this. And I kind of felt like I was destined to live like that for the rest of my life. You know, I was pissed off if someone I was living with kept trigger foods in the house. I would check the menu at restaurants before I went. And then if I did have something that was indulgent or bad or whatever, I would eat so much of it and be like, oh, screw it. I messed it up. I'm going to just eat everything and start back over. I lived on this roller coaster. And when I wasn't dieting and wasn't sticking to something, which might be you right now, I was eating in a very disconnected way, just eating whatever I wanted. And so we got to say bye to this cycle because I realized that I was trying to use this and it was kind of my security blanket. It was the thing that I knew, but it was driving me insane. It was actually making me crave more food. Now, like when you go on a diet, do you crave more food? Yes, 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 yes. Do you think about food more? Maybe not the first few weeks when you're on that high, but it eventually gets there. Do you ever rebound? Do you ever yo-yo back and forth? Do you ever have good days then bad days? If so, this is one of those hot and cold relationships that doesn't support you. And yes, the good feels good. When you're on it, it feels great. You do feel energy. You might see the drop on the scale. I get it. That stuff can be addicting. It can be exciting to feel the jeans fitting smaller and whatever that is. But we want to make sure the way that you're getting there is not in an unhealthy way. Because if it messes with your mental health and it messes with your emotional health or it messes with your physical, those highs are not worth the lows. And trust me, I know how bad this stuff can get because like I said, hospital bed realizations over here, not fun. And I still struggled like seven years after that or something. So I wish I could say that was my turning point. It wasn't. Uh, but more on that another time. So if you're dieting and, you know, let's say it might work short term, but those times where it's not working or maybe right now, if you're, um, if you're thinking about food a lot, I want you to check these off with me, right? Thinking about food a lot. Your overeating kind of autopilot happens out of nowhere or just some, like something takes over. You have cravings that feel really hard to say no to. You have like, emo like emotions will just drive you to eat really quick. Like boom, you just, you just go. Stress at the end of the day, go. Kids going crazy, go. Something happened with the boss, you don't know what to type, you go. You know, just this automatic eating thing when emotions are high or boredom or loneliness, whatever. 
Or last but not least, you don't really feel satisfied. You know, that fullness never comes. These are all signs that your brain right now is unhappy with what you're doing with your food and body and driving you to eat. So I don't know why my cat's meowing so much. She's screaming downstairs. I don't know if you can hear her. Maybe she'll photobomb us. So we need to get you out of this. And we're going to talk about how to get out of this here soon. But first of all, we need to really get real with ourselves. Is it working? Is it working for you? And I'm going to give you a new definition of working, right? And hey, by the way, maybe you're not dieting and maybe you're just thinking like a dieter, right? Maybe you're telling yourself to get on track. Maybe you're telling yourself you're eating bad and you need to start over, right? That can kick off that brain focused on food too, right? So I want to look at, like get real with ourselves about what's working and what isn't. Right now, if no matter how much weight you've lost before, no matter how long a tactic or control method has worked before, no matter how much certain personal development or growth has worked before, if you are thinking about food, consumed by food, if you lose control with food, if you can't keep trigger foods in the house, if you can't eat a little chocolate or cookies or whatever without losing control, something's not working. And it's not you. There's nothing wrong with you. This stuff is largely a physiological thing. When you're in this deficit, your brain and body get invested in making you eat. Or even when you're thinking about dieting, your brain and body get invested in making you eat. So we need to break up with this once and for all. And no, this doesn't mean go on a free for all. I'm going to actually talk about that tomorrow. You know, the things to watch out for when you're leaving this unhealthy diet culture behind, right? Because I don't want you leaving this behind and then overeating, binging, and gaining weight. That's not going to feel good for you either, right? There's a way to leave this behind, but still take care of yourself, honor yourself, and support yourself. So at the end, I'm going to give you a little exercise to do with me. It has to do with something I have saved on here on my phone for you. But what I want to invite you to first is If you've been in this cycle that I've talked about in this video, if you are ready to say goodbye to this stuff or you don't even know that you're ready but you want to see what's out there to support you in finding freedom, if you're ready to do something different because your work is only a short-term work, I want this stuff to be long-term and you never to have to struggle again. If that is you and you're ready to do something different, then please click the link someplace around here and reserve a spot for my Overcome Overeating Power Hour. I am doing another one today and I want you there. I want to show you how to break free of this stuff for good. And there's only so much I can do in this series with the videos and I promise to give you a lot of value, but I want more time with you. I want to lead you through this. I want to support you. I want to talk to you and hear what you're going through and adjust what I'm teaching to your specific needs. And I want to show you what's possible. I want to give you our game plan to not struggle with food anymore, to break free from overeating and binge eating and emotional eating. So go click the link and get your spot. And after you do that, come back here because we got a little breakup letter that we're doing together. So where did it just go? All right, so I want you, there's a little um, download thing right around here that has a little letter and it even is fillable. You can sign your name, you can screenshot it and share it to social media if you'd like. You can tag us. We're giving giveaways for anyone that shares about this series on social media. We're picking some winners. So um, here's our little breakup letter. Dear, whatever resonates for you, you could say diet culture, you could say toxic relationship with food, you could say relationship with food that doesn't serve me, you know, whatever resonates for you. I've given you my time, money, and energy, and in return, you have stolen my sanity and well-being. You somehow convinced me my worth was dependent on my size and that I must change my body even if my attempts leave me feeling broken inside. No more, capital letters, no more. I'm deserving of a life free of obsessing about what to eat, free of fighting myself and hating what I see in the mirror. I'm over your manipulation and lies. It's time to learn to love what's going to love me back, my body. It may be hard, but from here on out, I'm on my body's side. Never ever yours again, comma, Brittany, or whatever your name is. Okay, so... We're going to, well, you can't see it. We're going to have this for you in a little download section right around this video. So I would love to see some of these in our Facebook group on social media. You know, the Facebook group is private. So whatever you feel comfortable with, I'd love for you to make this declaration to yourself. You can adjust the letter 
and make it more fit you. But this one fits me and fits so many of our students. And it's time to say bye to this thing that doesn't serve you. Say bye. And then we'll talk about what to do later. Now, if you want to know what to do fast, like right now, get on a power hour. Get on a power hour. Get on my power hour today. It is going to be so action packed and it's going to be so tangible. And then you get to talk with me and hang out. And if you're still watching this, I want to hang out with you. You're my people. That means this resonates for you. And I'd love to be able to support you further. And that power hour is free and it's designed to, you know, give you that support, give you that clarity and give you actionable steps to get to the other side of this. So reserve your spot now. I think we still have spots, um, but we do feel quick because we're keeping them really intimate so they can be supportive. And I'll see you there. All right. Oh, and I'll see you tomorrow for day three.